This video is going to be on respiratory alkalosis, which means that more carbon dioxide is being exhaled. So more carbon dioxide is leaving the body. And we identify that as a decreased PCO2 on our blood gas. So compared to respiratory acidosis, there aren't that many causes for a respiratory alkalosis. The most common cause is stimulation of the respiratory center, and there's lots of different things that can stimulate the respiratory center. The first of which is low atmospheric oxygen, which doesn't generally tend to be a problem in our day-to-day -day patients. Um, any sort of severe pain or anxiety can also cause hyperventilation, sepsis or septicemia, as well as hyperthermia, which means that there's a really elevated body temperature, um, various drugs, CNS disease, and the most common cause of respiratory alkalosis is primary metabolic acidosis. So the respiratory system is responding to a primary metabolic disease. And I'll, I'll talk more about metabolic acidosis in a different video. So those are the physiologic reasons that can cause a respiratory alkalosis. There's also one artificial reason, and that is a mechanical hyperventilation. So the patient's hooked up to a ventilator, the machine is breathing for them, and they're breathing for them at an increased rate. So that's pretty much it. Um, two big broad categories, stimulation of the respiratory center by various etiologies, and then also mechanical hyperventilation.